beautiful island of Kauai this afternoon. Tour's going to be about 50 to 55 minutes. Um, so you'll get a good view of the island, a lot of commentary, and the microphones are there for you to ask questions. So if you're curious about anything, go ahead and feel free to use the microphones. Got just the one up front here for sharing, one over on the right, one on the left-hand side for sharing. I leave them on throughout the flight, and then everything we say is recorded on this movie we're producing, and that is available after the flight. I can point it around the outside of the aircraft. We'll leave it inside for now. Everybody get your safety brief this uh, afternoon. Everybody's ready to go. Ready to go. All right, good. Let me get some radio calls and get us out of here. Once we're out of here, we can chat a little bit more, and I turn off the microphones. Uh, just for the takeoffs and landings, I'll turn them back on once we clear the busy airspace. All righty, so let's get going here. All right, everybody, we've been cleared. Take off, coming up. All righty, folks, we're going to climb up to about 2,000 feet. We'll cross over this break wall you see in front of us. This is called the Willy Willy Harbor. This is the main harbor for the island of Kauai. So this is where all our goods are shipped in. It's also where they park the cruise ships right over there along the lengthwise section of the pier. That is the uh, Marriott Beach Resort down there on the right-hand side. We're going to climb up to about 2,000 feet. We'll fly right along these mountains you see in front of us. These are called the Ho'upu Mountains. This is the uh, Niamalo stream off our right side. Look on the far side of the stream, you'll see a pond over there. It's called the Alacoco Fish Pond, and that was built there by the early Hawaiians to give them easy access to fish a long time ago. Microphones are on, so if you have any questions or comments, you're curious about anything, go ahead and feel free to ask. I'll add a little commentary as we go along here today. A lot of movies filmed here on the island of Kauai. You may have heard of a couple of them. A little movie called The Descendants with George Clooney. There was a scene in that movie where George drives up with his movie family in a jeep. They get out and look down into a beach property and lament about the good times they had. Scene shot right there at that saddle where the road goes through the saddle. Looking into this property, this beach property off our left side called Kipukai. It's actually owned by the Waterhouse family. Uh, that was Jack Waterhouse. He passed away in 1994. He left the property to the state of Hawaii, but he put a couple of stipulations in there. One, that it not 
be transferred, the title not be transferred until his last descendant has passed away. Now those were the descendants that were alive while he was alive, not counting anybody that came afterwards. There's uh, Apparently there's two of them still around, and so they're going to be around for a while. Also the other stipulation that it never be developed, that property. So it'll always be a park. Uh, at some point it'll be transferred to the state and it'll become a park. Quite a contrast to the Big Island. Yes, it is. Uh, and it has everything to do with the ages of the island. This island, and I lived on the Big Island for two and a half years uh, and used to fly tours there as well. I still do occasionally. They call me over to fly tours there. Uh, anymore, I'm getting so rusty on the island. I, I'm, uh, I, I forget the name. I have to go back and re review the names of all the different places because it's been a while. But, uh... Yeah, it's uh, the island, the big island is not even a million years, and that's just the blink of an eye in geological time, so it's still forming. It's got five volcanoes, and it's about eight times bigger than this island. This island is 5.1 million years old, so this is considered the oldest island in, in the uh, of the major islands, of the eight major islands. This is the oldest one. Now, we are flying westbound. We're level 2,500 feet. We're just continuing westbound. I noticed it's getting a little bit hazier. Um, so we're getting that uh, uh, that moisture in the air, just kind of hanging in the air. Uh, the left side of the uh, helicopter is the South Shore. So old Kalola Town over there, a little bit further up, you can see Omeo, Lavai, and Kalaheo. Now we're going to cross over this low space in front of us. It's called Knutson Gap. This is where they're growing a lot of uh, biomass down here. Biomass, uh, biofuels to provide the power plant over here with... Uh, trees to burn for electricity. These are mostly uh, Albizia trees down here and you can see they're already cutting them over here on the left. See that? And they've got those logs stacked up. What they do is they chip those logs up and, and, uh, and pelletize those wood chips for uh, burning in the biomass power plant. How much of the island currently uses solar? Say again, I'm sorry, one more time. How much of the island currently uses solar? Uh, a large part of solar in the daytime uh, I think I read somewhere about 52%. Um, so a big, a big share of the the power here provided by solar on a good day in the middle of the day. But uh, as we move into the afternoon and the later evening hours, of course, that uh, drops off dr dramatically, and, and the other sources of power take over. Primarily, the fuel oil, oil burning power plant over here, uh, located at uh, Port Allen. We've also got a little bit of uh, 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 hydro electric and um, also the biomass and that that's pretty much it you won't see any wind turbines here we don't have them here because of the uh, uh, the, the native birds yeah they don't want the wind turbines here because of the native birds uh, you'll see a lot of them on Maui you'll see them on the Big Island and Oahu but not here. not here those are LB trees yep down there So a little, a little bit bumpy today. And usually uh, catch a couple bumps right in through here. So about, uh, well, winds are pretty strong off our right side. Almost 30 knots, so been pretty windy today. Uh, we're going to fly up to this valley that runs left to right. Just past the ridge, we'll drop down a little bit into the valley. That's called Hanapepe Valley. Take a look at some waterfalls. What good things did you do in life to get a job like this? Uh, joined the Army in 1982. I was in an infantry battalion for a couple of years and then uh, went to flight school. Fort Rucker, Alabama. And then I flew medevac. Got out 2004. Those are called the Upper Kihili Falls. You'll see another waterfall uh, called Mono Puna. Might look a little familiar to you if you're a...